Good day class. Today we will be speaking about map skills. This is lesson one to three in geography and it is for the grade sixes. Geography teaches us about the world we live in and this term we will look at different maps and learn about countries around the world. You will also learn more on how to find places on a map. Okay, so let's jump in and take a look at lesson one which is hemispheres on a globe. The Earth can be described as a sphere. This is why we talk about the globe. The equator is an imaginary line which divides the Earth into two equal parts. We call this the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, we get the North Pole. And in the Southern Hemisphere, we get the South Pole. The Greenwich Meridian is an imaginary line which stretches from the North Pole to the South Pole and it divides the Earth into two equal parts. The two hemispheres are called the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. Now let's take a look at Lesson 2 which is all about longitudes and latitudes. We've established that the Earth is a sphere. If we want to represent it on a piece of paper, it will be like pressing a ball flat, which is very difficult. This is the reason why there are lines on globes as well as on maps. These lines run parallel to one another, and there are two types of lines. The first one is the latitudes. The line runs across the globe like the equator. The equator is the most important latitude on the globe at zero degrees. The place or position they indicate are called latitudes and they are measured in degrees north or south of the equator. Here is an example of a latitude line. Next, we look at the longitudes. These lines are drawn from the North Pole to the South Pole like the Greenwich Meridian. The Greenwich Meridian is the most important longitude at zero degrees. The place or position they indicate are called longitudes and they are measured in degrees east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. Here is an example of a longitude line. So let's say that we are looking to see where South Africa falls. The first thing that we need to do is we need to find the equator and we need to find the Greenwich Meridian. Remember now that the latitude for the equator is at zero degrees and the longitude for the Greenwich Meridian is also zero degrees running from the North Pole to the South Pole. So if we look at South Africa, you can clearly see that it is part of the Southern Hemisphere as well as the Eastern Hemisphere. Every single place on Earth is located in two hemispheres at the same time. It is located in either the northern or southern hemisphere and in either the eastern or western hemisphere. South Africa is located in the southern hemisphere because it is south of the equator, as well as in the eastern hemisphere because South Africa is east of the Greenwich Meridian. This then brings us to lesson three, finding countries and cities by longitude and latitude. On a map, we can see how far north or south from the equator a place is by looking at the latitudes. It is usually marked at the sides of a map. Above the zero degrees is the northern hemisphere and below the zero degrees is the southern hemisphere. In the same way, we can see how far east or west a place is from the Greenwich Meridian by looking at the longitudes. It is usually marked at the top and bottom of a map. Left of the zero degrees is the western hemisphere and right of the zero degrees is the eastern hemisphere. Now let's say that we would like to find where Australia is situated. First we need to find the equator and the Greenwich Meridian. Now as we have said earlier you will realize that Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere as well as in the Eastern Hemisphere. So 
So now, how do you find the coordinates? You trace back to the closest degrees that you can find in the southern hemisphere as well as to the eastern hemisphere. That means that Australia is 20 degrees south and 140 degrees east. Remember, if we write coordinates, we always write north and south first and then east or west second. This then brings us to the end of our geography lesson, lesson one to three, which is all about map skills. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and if you have any questions, please contact me.